In this video, we will learn to extract the semantic features used as digital signature for retrieval of similar images. We will start with somewhat less sophisticated approaches and trace the development of semantic features up to more recent results. Uh, to search for a target image, one first needs to compute its semantic representation from raw pixel values. Virtually every approach to computing features for image classification and recognition has been applied to image retrieval too. Starting from basic color histograms, the research then went uh, on to using gradient histograms such as HOG or SIFT. Not surprisingly, features extracted from deep convolutional neural networks have recently gained attention as an effective image representation. One of the first content-based image retrieval systems was the, was the Cubic system, developed at IBM in 1995. It worked in two modes, image search using color histograms and image search using object masks specified by user. The second mode was possible thanks to the existence of a hand-labeled database of objects where object attributes such as dimensions, area or number of objects were marked. Cubic was also implemented to search through the 10,000 images of paintings from the Hermitage Museum in St. Pet Petersburg. Histogram of gradients are features used for image classification. They are computed by splitting the image into blocks, computing the gradients in each block, and aggregating the, these uh, into histograms. As the histogram is computed for a fixed image resolution, such a descriptor is not ideal for content-based uh, content image search, where objects of interest may be present in the image at different scales. Uh, therefore, to describe the image as a whole, GIST descriptor was introduced. It computes gradients in the image at a variety of scales via pyramid of scales or Gaussian smoothing with different intensities. For each scale, histograms of gradients are concatenated to form a descriptor to describe color information, while one may use color histogram or simple averaging of colors within blocks. Intermediate image representations learned by deep convolutional neural networks may be used to sa solve a variety of tasks in computer vision. One of the most straightforward uh, applications is, in fact, retrieval of similar images. Let us consider the feature activations induced by an image at the last 4096-dimensional hidden layer. If two images produce feature activation vectors with a small Euclidean separation, we can say that the higher levels of the neural network consider them to be similar. Figure on the slide shows nine images from the ImageNet collection used as queries with more images that are most similar to each of them according to this measure. Notice that at the pixel level, the retrieved training images are generally not close in the Euclidean uh, distance to the query image images in the first column. For example, the retrieved ships and elephants appear in a variety of poses. Moreover, the elephant class may have never been present in the original training data. Uh, the crude image search algorithm uh, that uses uh, deep convolutional neural networks has the following form. Let us fix some layer in the network whose activations are to be used as semantic image features. For instance, we may use the output of layers 5, 6, or 7 in the AlexNet network prior to the ReLU transform. Naturally, each of these high-dimensional vectors represent a deep descriptor or a neural code uh, of the input image. For each image, we extract multiple sub-patches of different sizes at different locations whose union covers the whole image. For each extracted subpatch, we compute its CNN representation, and we compute distances between each query subpatch and the reference image subpatch. Then the distance between the reference and the query image is computed as the average uh, distance of each query subpatch to that of the reference image. All the methods, except the convolutional neural networks, in this slide, uh, have the representation trained on, da on datasets similar to those they report the results on, while the CNN is trained on a different dataset. Yet the results depicted in the table are competitive 
And it can be seen that CNN features, when compared to low memory footprint methods, produce consistently higher results for retrieval. A natural question arising when using convolutional neural networks as a feature extractor is activations of which layer should we employ as a features for image retrieval. In the benchmark shown on that slide, an image, uh, a query is submitted against a dataset of natural images and the goal is to retrieve images that were taken at the same location on Earth. Correct answers are outlined in green. Research suggests that uh, layers earlier in the network, that is for instance the last convolutional layer, uh, are better suited for retrieval of similarly textured scenes such as foamy waterfalls, presumably because of their uh, reliance on relatively low-level texture features rather than high-level concepts. On the other hand, representations deeper in the network, such as uh, activations of the last convolutional layer, give better retrieval results when searching for objects appearing at a variety of scales, presumably because of their uh, reliance on higher-level concepts. In this example, a door handle in the shape of a lion's head is the object whose images we're looking for. We know that only activations from deeper levels are abstract enough to be able to retrieve uh, such representation. As the neural codes in described methods are high dimensional, for example, it's 4096 uh, dimensions for uh, uh, sixth uh, uh, layer in the AlexNet network, albeit less high dimensional than other state of the art holistic descriptors. A question of their effective compression arises. If we extract neural codes on some collection and perform PCA, it turns out to work surprisingly well. Thus, the neural codes can be compressed to 256 or even uh, 198 dimensions almost without any quality loss. An even better representation for image retrieval is based on the aggregation of raw deep convolutional features without any kind of embedding, such as linear or nonlinear mapping that may be called some pooled convolutional features. Each deep convolutional feature f computed from image i is associated with the spatial coordinates x and y corresponding to the spatial position of the features in a map produced by last convolutional layer. To summarize, historically, many handcrafted image descriptors were employed for the purposes of retrieval. Activations that are induced in convolutional neural networks reflect similarity of images at different levels of abstraction. We can compress neural codes for efficient retrieval of similar images, and that would work even better than compressing state-of-the-art handcrafted descriptors.